we're presenting today the open setting. Um, so uh, my name is Eza Harada. And I'm Hiromi Ozaki. So first we're going to explain what open sailing is. And um, in three, it's a big project, but if you have to make it in three sentences, open sailing is a collaborative open source framework for producing research, engineering technology and actual construction for living on the ocean. And because it's an open source project, there are many, many agendas in open sailing. But one of the main agenda is to create the International Ocean Station, which we're going to explain later. And we'd like open sailing to be a platform for research in technology, biology, or social aspects. So that's open sailing in three sentences. Like the points are independent, small living units. So the working city is not one big thing, but many smaller things. In summary, um, swarm operating system is, instead of total solution, is fragmented solutions. Instead of being mobile, it's more transient. And instead of being groups, we live more as swarms. And instead of having rigid cities, we have emergent groups, emergent cities. We looked at what you need to have if you want to go on the sea. And so you need to provide yourself with a shelter. So these are technologies, existing technology. You need to provide yourself with water, you need to provide yourself with uh, food, you need to provide yourself with, uh, you, you need to be able to communicate, and you want, you want to communicate, you need to be able to repair yourself and build, you need your energy, if you want to, especially water or things like this, you need a lot of, a lot of energy. So all these technologies are existing, and we were quite surprised that all this, this technology already exists, so we don't really have to invent so much stuff. We have mostly to reconfigure and just put together this, these technologies. So we're going to show you briefly all the research labs that are in open sailing. The five first ones, the six ones. Yeah, six of them. There are about ten now. But okay, so. Yeah. Do you... So for example, this was a very romantic uh, representation, a romantic model. So this is this is supposed to be representing the house. Uh, this is a rain collector, uh, this is a fog uh, net, uh, these are sea shells harvesting pots, uh, this is just a solar flag. The energy animal, uh, we're trying to do research on how to make um, devices that create energy from wind, sun and waves on the ocean. If you want to live on the ocean, stay for a long time on the ocean, you need energy. And we want to make this with um, cheap DIY technology. So currently, um, I think about two industrial designers have been helping us develop this technology. So it's it's underway. But just just to say about this. So um, why we are making this energy animal? Why we call it energy animal? Um, the, we, we looked at uh, the reality of why the, the industries or the house house uh, household or the government do not rely on renewable energy. The reason is because the output is irregular. The second is because uh, installing renewable energy is a form of pollution in itself. And the third is that it's causing infrastructure and causes a problem of property. If you install something, you always have infrastructure cables, so it's a problem. What we're trying to do with energy animal is to uh, have two, two sources of energy, three sources of energy, sir, to uh, have a more regular output. We are trying to have more infrastructure, so it's a free floating thing. It's a totally new approach of energy providing. There's no infrastructure, the energy animal doesn't belong to anyone. I like to take the image again of a goat. It's in the mountain and if you, if you need to milk it, you can just go and milk it. It's living on its own and it's independent. So it's very different from thinking that you have a company and you have a country and they have an infrastructure and you, you, you have to pay for them, you have to pay taxes. The idea is that you, you just invent this technology and it's available. And um, open sailing. As you can see, there's many, many research labs. That's because it's an open project. Anyone's able to come in and start their own labs. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.